The first day of testimony now wrapped up in the trial of former Clay County Sheriff Daryl Daniels. Much of what witnesses told the court focused on the events of a single day in May of 2019. Daniels could be sentenced to up to 15 years in prison if he's found guilty of tampering with evidence and lying to police. One of the first witnesses today, the former sheriff's former mistress, Sierra Smith, spent about two hours on the stand facing questions from prosecutors and Daniels defense attorneys. Smith and Daniels had an affair that started when she was a Jacksonville corrections officer and Daniels was the director of the Duval County Jail, her superior. News for Jack's reporter Janice Harris has been in the courtroom all day. She's joining us live from the Clay County Courthouse. Denise. And we learned a lot through testimony today. The trial centers around one very specific day when Daryl Daniels and also Sierra Smith, they met on May 6th of 2019. But their stories about that day are very different. Smith said it was a planned meeting. Daniels said it was stalking because he had ended their relationship on April 28th after an on again, off again, six year intimate relationship. On May 6th of 2019, when then Clay County Sheriff Daryl Daniels and Sierra Smith were driving near each other, Daniels makes a dispatch call for a suspicious vehicle. 911 dispatcher says Sia Cruz hears Daniels on the police radio at 6.22 p.m. The state played the dispatch call for the then Sheriff Daniels for Sierra Smith's alleged stalking. Take a listen. So right after that, the next thing you hear, you hear on the dispatch radio, black female 1015 is heard over the radio. This means that Sierra Smith has been arrested. We also heard from a Joseph Glenn, who is a deputy. He was a deputy actually at the time when Daniels made that call, requested that assistance on May 6th. And the state also called a Joseph Prado. He had the responsibility as he testified to extract data from a phone and search for the name Sierra Smith. But he said that he could not find that name. This alludes to the possibility of it being deleted by Daryl Daniels. Take a listen. You can't state that Mr. Daniels deleted anything off that phone. No, I cannot. And so that was the defense asking a counter question in cross-examination because initially the state only alluded to the name not being found. But then the defense came back and said, but can you prove that he deleted anything? And as you heard, he said he could not. This was a very interesting day of a lot of testimony. They will pick back up beginning at 8.25 a.m. tomorrow here at the Clay County, reporting live at the Clay County Courthouse. Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station. Denise, right at the end of today's proceedings, former Jacksonville Sheriff Mike Williams took the stand, but he was only there for about 10 minutes. Tell our viewers what he had to say. He was questioned about phone calls that he missed on the same day, May 6th of 2019, from then Clay County Sheriff Daryl Daniels. At that time, when they finally talked on the phone, the then Sheriff Mike Williams for JSO testified that Daniels had asked him a question about getting Sierra Smith to be transported to the Duval County Jail instead of being in custody at the Clay County Jail because he said he thought it would look bad. So Mike Williams replied back saying, no, if she committed a crime in Clay County, she needs to stay in Clay County. And actually, she was never officially arrested or booked into that Clay County jail that night. In fact, a deputy drove her home. Janice Harris reporting to us live from Clay County. More tomorrow. Thank you, Janice.